For the Chinese artist of today, reality must, as ever, truly have many faces. We'll explore those many faces, as well as the sights and sounds of creating in today's China, from the landscapes and people that serve as inspiration to the haunting images they evoke. It's not technique that matters, but mood, unique to China and inspired by the heart of the dragon. This evening at 8, with Evening at Pops at 9 tonight. Where do you find television that helps you understand the people and events that shape society? Your source for information and understanding is right where it's always been, on public TV. For programs that keep you informed, it's TV worth watching. TV worth watching on Channel 33. Next time on Smithsonian World, a remarkable look at how we design our lives. Host David McCullough. And that's what this edition of Smithsonian World is all about. Designs for living. Some of the many ways we shape every aspect of our existence. Visit Harry Truman's America and take a rare tour of the Truman home with his daughter Margaret. Why do New York skyscrapers cause dreams and nightmares? And how do astronauts stay alive in the vacuum of space? Astronauts' lives hang by the thread these women hold in their hands. And journey deep inside the Earth to discover an experiment that could change our lives forever. Scientists are looking for a clue to a design that will join together the entire universe, a single golden rule that unites all the forces of nature. Designs for Living, next time on Smithsonian World. Smithsonian World comes your way tonight at 10. Smithsonian World TV worth watching tonight at 10 on channel 33. From the extinction of dinosaurs to nuclear winter, from evolution to human equality, from fossils to baseball, Stephen Jay Gould makes the connections. He also reminds us that scientists are human beings too. There is this myth about science, that science is different, that it's objective, that there's a scientific method, that there are right answers, that there's a special way of doing things, that scientists are a priesthood that have latched on to a arcane set of techniques that enable them to find truth. Now, of course, science is trying to understand the truth of the world, and we do get there in fitful ways, but we're just human beings struggling, embedded in cultural and social contexts like everyone else. Trouble is, you can't analyze that at the present, because we don't know what our biases are. If we knew, we'd eliminate them. Join us for this extraordinary hour. Stephen Jay Gould, This View of Life, next time on NOVA. Watch NOVA, Tuesday evening at 8, here on Channel 33. Obviously, uh, we're in bad shape here. Because I've dissected this thing, and now I've got an opening, a rent in it. We cannot find the input artery. We find all kinds of arterialized veins, but the input artery eludes me. we got to find it, that's all. It's really not uh, working out here. Presented twice, see Lifeline Tuesday night at 10 or at 2 Friday afternoon. In Mozart's own time, it was Antonio Salieri who was the musical superstar. Nowadays, it's exactly the opposite. Explore this musical turnabout in a program that compares works by the two composers when mostly Mozart meets Salieri. Next time on Live from Lincoln Center. Stereo simulcast with public radio at 8, Wednesday evening.
This is Channel 33, WITF-TV, Harrisburg. Presentation of Heart of the Dragon on WITF is made possible by an underwriting grant from the AAA Travel Agency and AAA Central Penn Auto Club. The Buddhist saying, phenomenon is emptiness, emptiness is a kind of phenomenon, pervades the artist's view of the landscape and their pictures. What can be transmitted is not literal reality, but a mood, an impression of some unspeakable, unpaintable, unhearable, unimaginable reality. This program is made possible by a grant from General Electric. At GE, we're in the business of trying to make life a little easier, a little better. At GE, we bring good things to life. This program was made possible by a grant from General Electric. At GE, we're in the business of trying to make life a little easier, a little better. At GE, we bring good things to life. This Saturday night at 7.30, Innovation looks at the ways new technology has advanced the development of archaeology. Next is an evening at Pops here on 33. This has been a presentation of McNeil Lara Gannett Productions and the South Carolina Educational Television Network. The companion volume to this series, The Heart of the Dragon, written by Alistair Clare, has just <laughs> company and is now available in libraries and bookstores everywhere. Presentation of Heart of the Dragon on WITF is made possible by an underwriting grant from the AAA Travel Agency and AAA Central Penn Auto Club. Next time on Smithsonian World, a remarkable look at how we design our lives. Host David McCullough. And that's what this edition of Smithsonian World is all about. Designs for living, some of the many ways we shape every aspect of our existence. Visit Harry Truman's America and take a rare tour of the Truman home with his daughter, Margaret. Why do New York skyscrapers cause dreams and nightmares? And how do astronauts stay alive in the vacuum of space? Astronauts' lives hang by the thread these women hold in their hands. And journey deep inside the Earth to discover an experiment that could change our lives forever. Scientists are looking for a clue to a design that will join together the entire universe, a single golden rule that unites all the forces of nature. Designs for Living, next time on Smithsonian World. Smithsonian World comes your way tonight at 10. Smithsonian World TV worth watching tonight at 10 on Channel 33. Remember the headlines? 
cable was going to deal a crippling blow to public television. Long-heralded series like Masterpiece Theater would soon vanish. Before long, the new technologies would put us out of business. Now, two years later, public television has not only survived, it is flourishing. Culture channels like CBS Cable and the Entertainment Channel have signed off. Others are floundering. And for the last three years, the commercial networks have suffered a dramatic loss in audiences. Where have all the viewers gone? To PBS, for one. In the last five years, public television's share of the primetime audience has more than doubled. The fact is, public television has never been more alive or more appreciated. The numbers speak for themselves. America is saying yes, public television. Join Dennis Holy for an hour of live and lively conversation tonight at 11.30 on Late Night America here on Channel 33 WITF-TV Harrisburg. For Evening at Pops is provided by this station and other public television stations nationwide and by a grant from Digital Equipment Corporation, the world's second largest computer company providing computer solutions for professionals from professionals. Funding for Evening at Pops was provided by this station and other public television stations nationwide and by a grant from Digital Equipment Corporation, the world's second largest computer company providing computer solutions for professionals from professionals. Wednesday evening at 8, look forward to the Live from Lincoln Center simulcast presentation of Mostly Mozart meets Salieri. Next, Smithsonian World presents Designs for Living here on 33. to nuclear winter, from evolution to human equality, from fossils to baseball, Stephen Jay Gould makes the connections. He also reminds us that scientists are human beings too. There is this myth about science, that science is different, that it's objective, that there's a scientific method, that there are right answers, that there's a special way of doing things, that scientists are a priesthood that have latched on to an arcane set of techniques that enable them to find truth. Now, of course, science is trying to understand the truth of the world, and we do get there in fitful ways, but we're just human beings struggling, embedded in cultural and social contexts like everyone else. Trouble is, you can't analyze that at the present, because we don't know what our biases are. If we knew, we'd eliminate them. Join us for this extraordinary hour. Stephen Jay Gould, This View of Life, next time on NOVA. Watch NOVA, Tuesday evening at 8, here on Channel 33. Obviously, uh, we're in bad shape here because I've dissected this thing and now I've got an opening, a rent in it. We cannot find the input artery. We find all kinds of arterialized veins, but the input artery eludes me. We gotta find it, that's all. It's really not uh, working out here. Presented twice, see Lifeline Tuesday night at 10 or at 2 Friday afternoon. In Mozart's own time, it was Antonio Salieri who was the musical superstar. Nowadays, it's exactly the opposite. 
Explore this musical turnabout in a program that compares works by the two composers when mostly Mozart meets Salieri. Next time on Live from Lincoln Center. Stereo simulcast with Public Radio at 8 Wednesday evening. Judy Garland and Gene Kelly star in Summerstock, part one of Cinema 33's double feature, Saturday evening at 8 on Channel 33, WITF-TV, Harrisburg. Smithsonian World is made possible by a grant from the James S. McDonnell Foundation of St. Louis, which supports significant programs in education, research to improve human life, and global understanding. Additional funding is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This Tuesday night at 8 on Nova, the esteemed Stephen Jay Gould will tell you what dinosaurs, a panda bear's thumb, and a peacock's tail have in common. Next, look forward to an exciting late night with Alfred Hitchcock and Late Night America here on Channel 33. Smithsonian World is made possible by a grant from the James S. McDonnell Foundation of St. Louis, which supports significant programs in education, research to improve human life, and global understanding. Additional funding is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. For a transcript of this program, please send $3.50 to TR Services, 2000 Mercantile Building, Baltimore, Maryland, 21201. Please specify the episode title. And for information on video cassettes of Smithsonian World, please write WETA Educational Activities, Box 2626, Washington, D.C., 20013. From the extinction of dinosaurs to nuclear winter, from evolution to human equality, from fossils to baseball, Stephen Jay Gould makes the connections. He also reminds us that scientists are human beings too. There is this myth about science, that science is different, that it's objective, that there's a scientific method, that there are right answers, that there's a special way of doing things, that scientists are a priesthood that have latched on to an arcane set of techniques that enable them to find truth. Now, of course, science is trying to understand the truth of the world, and we do get there in fitful ways, but we're just human beings struggling, embedded in cultural and social contexts like everyone else. Trouble is, you can't 
analyze that at the present because we don't know what our biases are. If we knew, we'd eliminate them. Join us for this extraordinary hour. Stephen Jay Gould, This View of Life. Next time on NOVA. Watch NOVA Tuesday evening at 8 here on Channel 33. Where do you find television that helps you understand the people and events that shape society? Your source for information and understanding is right where it's always been, on public TV. For programs that keep you informed, it's TV worth watching. TV worth watching on Channel 33. Acid rain. How do we get rid of it? Watch the McNeil Error News Hour, where complex issues get the time they deserve. All the news, weekdays at 6 on Channel 33. FTV Harrisburg, with translators in Reading and in Chambersburg. Summerstock, starring Judy Garland and Gene Kelly, and The Bad Seed, starring Patty McCormick, are the two movies in this Saturday night's double feature. Look forward to a very entertaining Saturday night at 8 o'clock here on Channel 33. By the way, that last commercial was one which was sent to Russia as part of the cultural exchange. <laughs> Penn State's Capitol Campus in Middletown offers a unique opportunity for elementary teachers to sharpen their science teaching skills. Funded by the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency, the program for improving elementary science helps teachers develop innovative and inexpensive teaching techniques. The PIES program is offered free of charge, and the course begins July 15th and runs through August 8th. For more information, call the Capitol Campus at 948-6275. From the extinction of dinosaurs to nuclear winter, from evolution to human equality, from fossils to baseball, Stephen Jay Gould makes the connections. He also reminds us that scientists are human beings too. There is this myth about science, that science is different, that it's objective, that there's a scientific method, that there are right answers, that there's a special way of doing things, that scientists are a priesthood that have latched on to an arcane set of techniques that enable them to find truth. Now, of course, science is trying to understand the truth of the world, and we do get there in fitful ways, but we're just human beings struggling, embedded in cultural and social contexts like everyone else. Trouble is, you can't analyze that at the present, because we don't know what our biases are. If we knew, we'd eliminate them. Join us for this extraordinary hour. Stephen Jay Gould, This View of Life. Next time on NOVA. Watch NOVA. Tuesday evening at 8, here on Channel 33. Obviously, uh, we're in bad shape here. Because I've dissected this thing, and now I've got an opening, a rent in it. We cannot find the input artery. We find all kinds of arterialized veins, but the input artery eludes me. we got to find it, that's all. It's really not uh, working out here. Presented twice. See Lifeline Tuesday night at 10 or at 2 Friday afternoon. In Mozart's own time, it was Antonio Salieri who was the musical superstar. Nowadays, it's exactly the opposite. Explore this musical turnabout in a program that compares works by the two composers when mostly Mozart meets Salieri. Next time on Live from Lincoln Center. Stereo simulcast with public radio at 8, Wednesday evening. Status. Six-year-old boy, born with pulsing mass of blood vessels, called an AV malformation in left side of brain. 
child appears normal, but the AV malformation is causing heart failure, and rupture can lead to a serious brain hemorrhage. Oh, I didn't know. No, I didn't know they're drawing blood. Course of action. Two previous operations performed by Dr. Kersey to isolate the malformation. Plan now is to attempt total removal. Am I dead? Was all the shots today? Presented twice, see Lifeline Tuesday night at 10 or at 2 Friday afternoon here on Channel 33. <laughs> Where do you find television that helps you understand the people and events that shape society? Your source for information and understanding is right where it's always been, on public TV. For programs that keep you informed, it's TV worth watching. TV worth watching on Channel 33. Hello, I'm Mike Gray. On our second Saving Energy program, we're going to tackle all those little ways that air can leak into and out of your house. You'll see how to spot trouble areas, and then by spending a relatively small amount of money, you can rack up some significant energy savings and make your home more comfortable in the process. So join us right here for Saving Energy. Saving Energy, Saturday afternoon at 1 on Channel 33. This is your public television station, Channel 33, WITF-TV, Harrisburg. Late Night America is a presentation of WTVS in Detroit, brought to you by public television stations, by the Stroh Brewery Company, family brewers for over 200 years, and by the makers of Soloflex. friends and welcome to Late Night America. We hope you had a terrific weekend. Later in the program we're going to have a lesson from a former car salesman on how to buy a car, a new car or a used car. He's got a lot of lessons for us. <laughs>